girl, now I'm used to being the girl You're sitting on your feelings, I'm sitting on my throne I ain't got no time for the troubles in your eyes This time I'm only looking at me, myself and I So it's all love, I'ma do it Hi guys, so it's your girl, my virtual world Back with another video So guys, I was challenged to do the lemon challenge, of course without making any facial expressions. Now, can I do it? Do you guys think that I could, you know, make it through doing this without making any facial expressions? Well, we're just going to have to see. You know what I'm saying? So, I already chopped up the lemons, you know, the limes and the lemons. So, I got both. Chopped them up all pretty, you see? You see? Oh, I should do like... <clears throat> I should do my thumbnail and then get back to this video. <laughs> so, I'll be back. You always said I wouldn't make it. Wanted me to be basic. I'm just glad I didn't take it Look at me now, look at me now Okay, so I'm back guys So are we ready? Oh, and guys, don't feel discouraged by this whole YouTube thing I keep telling you guys At the end of the day It's either you have real friends on here Or people who claim to be family now with you you'll really notice the ones that are for you now don't get mad and like i said feel discouraged if they don't come to your videos or live streams how you would want and a lot of people i know i've been seeing you guys not really put out content like your content is mainly live streams so not every time can somebody make it to your live stream be understandable about all of that and if they're going to others live streams and not yours then don't get upset. You need to keep putting in that work. If YouTube is something that you want to pursue, you need to just keep going with it no matter what because you're the one that did this for a reason for you. You didn't know none of the people on YouTube until you started doing YouTube. See what I'm saying? Like you made those connects through YouTube. So people are going to come just like in life period. People are going to come and go all the time, but you've got to stay on the grind and I'm learning this. You need to just do this, do it for fun, even though it's still work at the same time. But if you, at the end of the day, do not enjoy this, maybe you need to look into something else. I don't know, but you need to like change your ways or something. But I'm not stopping. You guys already know <laughs> I'm with the ish. I'm not going to cuss. You guys already know, but I'm with the ish. Okay, so let's get started so are you guys ready to see if i'm gonna make any facial expressions okay oh my god i'm so scared okay ready mm. i didn't make any facial expressions with that it's not sour. That was with the lime. I'm making this face right though. I'm sucking it out of my teeth. Let me try the lemon. Am I like immune to this stuff now? Before when I would suck into these, I would always make a face. It would make me like, the face I'm doing right now is what those would do to me. I'm mad. This was an epic fail period. I thought I was going to make a face. There we go. I, I had to suck on it more. Woo! Woo! Yeah, 
They look good though. I can eat these all day. Oh, that was big. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh my gosh. Guys, I just want to say, like, do things that make you happy. Do things that you're okay with. Don't look for nobody's approval. Look for your own. We are our we are our own worst enemy at the end of the day. I tell myself this every day. Like, every day I feel discouraged sometimes where I'm like, wow, like, I don't know what I set myself up for when I started doing YouTube. But I freaking love it, guys. Like, I love YouTube. I love doing videos. I love interacting with all of you guys. Like, you should already know that I love y'all. Like, no matter if I was to get paid on here or not, I get on here for the simple joy and pleasure of knowing you guys personally on a deeper level, you know. Like I said, I'm not very sociable sometimes where I like to just keep to myself. So YouTube is a whole nother world allowing me to be way more myself and be great at the same time because you guys keep telling me that you approve of anything that I do. And so far, I haven't had no problems. Like minor suggestions to how to like fix my channel is all I've normally got. Like I've gotten decent feedback back from a few of you guys, which I truly appreciate because you guys already know that every time I do a video, what do I do? I ask you guys, tell me, what do you like me doing? What do you like me not doing so that I could change it? And what you would like to see more? I need y'all to start commenting and letting me know this because I've only had a few, a selective few really let me know how to approve my channel, what I could do with my videos, and I appreciate that. And just so for you guys to know, I will be doing another spicy noodle challenge. Hey, yes. Um, I did one with Purple Fang, if you guys don't know, because especially if you're new. Purple Fang is like my friend slash sis, where she's my sis slash friend, however you want to say it. But I had gotten her to do YouTube had her do her own you you know YouTube channel because she didn't really feel like she could do it and I was showing her you know the ropes on you know how everyone was teaching me do this and do that and you'll see how you'll make the connections right to help your channel grow so she started doing it she was like oh this is awesome I'm gonna start doing this stuff and whatever whatever but she's she's lost that connection with YouTube she hasn't really been doing it She's been doing other stuff and real life is really getting the best of her. She does have a baby. The baby that if you see in one of my videos, like the little baby baby, okay? That's Eleanor. And I babysit her time to time for her when she needs me and when I'm able to or if I would just like to because I adopted her into mine. Like not really officially like legally, you know, but she's still my baby at heart. Love her. Love her. It's like I love her mom. I love the whole family. And to know the back history about that, like if you guys don't know, because if you don't go back to like old videos in which I've already explained, Purple Fang is the sister of, okay, how, okay, my three daughters, okay, one of them doesn't have the same dad as the other two. The other two have the same father, okay? They share the same father. They have a sister. Her name is Nani. Nani has the same father as the two that I have. That have the same father, okay? To make it to where it's not so confusing, but it's still kind of confusing at the same time, but it, sh it shouldn't be. It should not be at all. Anyways, <clears throat> when I was with him, I was helping take care of Nani since she was three and a half years old. Before I even had my firstborn. I was pregnant with my firstborn the whole way through. While I was helping take care of her. So Nani has a sister named, I'm not going to say her real name, but Purple Fang is Nani's sister. Kind of get it now, okay? So their mom has three kids. You know, the, all three kids don't have the same father. So Purple Fang and Nani, their dads are not the same, okay? 
but Nani has the same father as my two. So they're actual blood sisters. Just I'm not the mom. So they're still half sisters, but they're still, you know what I mean? They're sisters, period. You know, they share the same father, just not the same mother. But I am like a mom to her in a way. I've helped take care of her since she was three and a half. So her, you know, Purple Fangs felt that because her sister, you know, is my daughter's sister, that my daughters are her sisters too. And she absolutely loves my um, second oldest, Layla. She loves her. So, you know, Purple Fang adopted Layla, not legally, but adopted her in like saying that she's like another mom. She's a second mom to her and stuff like that. And if she ever needed her, she's there for her and all this stuff. So we're a big family. And I know it's weird. Like a lot of people be like, how do you get along with somebody's baby mama and stuff like that? First off, you got to know how to be an adult. And I've always told them that, you know, especially the mom, I told her that it's not about us. You know what I'm saying? Like, if we like each other or not, we're going to be in each other's lives. Like, my girls are your daughter's sisters. So we need to get along for the kids. The kids are what matters. See what I'm saying? We got to be the change in the world. And I'm, I don't got time to be bitter and have some hate towards her. And even if the kids' dad probably don't like us getting along, it is what it is. And I'm going to be the decent, you know, human being and adult around here. And she kind of like started to see it like, you know, it isn't about us. It is about the kids and we all supposed to be grown. So we all get along. And matter of fact, Nani has a graduation. She's graduating high school, guys. She's going to be, I believe she's going to be 18. I don't think she's 18 yet. So she'll be 18 in July. But she's graduating high school. And my girls, you know, next week, all kids will have three days left of school and they'll be out of school for the summer. So, yeah, let me just do two more of these for you guys. This one's not. Okay, it just hit me. First off, I didn't make any facial expressions in the beginning. It was afterwards. So, that was a fail. How did I get hiccups from that? Woo! Okay, I'm out. Love you, my virtual family.